Hey folks, today is the day that I take a flight to London. I'm really nervous, but um, God work in mysterious ways because people who I haven't spoken to in a while suddenly, all in the last week, hit me up and are now back in my life. Um, some of those people were people who um, I didn't want to ever speak to again because they caused problems that we had in our friendships, friendship and relationship. Um, and others were people who either just, you know, drifted away, which we as human beings do over time. Um, and lost contact and some I kind of ran out of my life <laughs> with my fucked up toxic behavior um, but um, I have more of a support system than I thought I was going to have because the only person that was really supporting me was one friend and my mother um, I booked this trip six months ago and a lot can change in six months you can change a lot as a person. Um, your desires obviously can change within a matter of weeks, let alone months. And um, because I just came back from Barcelona, Spain, it was not the greatest experience, especially dealing with a lot of racism. I just did not want to um, travel again for a while, especially not to a European country. But I have booked them back to back because I know how I am. And I know if I let more time go by, my OCD may get worse, my anxiety may get worse, and I may not ever <laughs> go to London. And I do want to go to London. Um, I just don't uh, want to go alone. I think for Paris, which will be my very last European country that I visit, um, unless years down the line, guys willing, I'm blessed enough to be here. Um, I may go to Greece, but I just don't have any more any interest in going to any Euro more European country because of the racism and just how they act towards blacks and how they treat us overall. Um, and just my weird experiences there. Um, I think I have a better experience going to places like Egypt, um, Africa, and I still want to go to some regular places like just some domestic places in in the, in the states like. You know, the Grand Canyon and Aspen in the wintertime, you know, um, do some like ski diving and shit like that. Um, uh, Bahamas, another uh, another island. I love islands. Those are always my favorite uh, trips. Um, I want to go to Niagara Falls again. So I'm just going to be doing a lot of basic vacations. Um, but I do want to go to Dubai. I do want to go to India. I want to go to Egypt eventually and Nigeria. Um, and, uh, China, I heard China's really, but those places I plan on going with people and I'm not going to be treating the same person over and over again, because when you treat people too much, the same person over and over, they start to get a little carried away and unappreciative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat maybe one person and treat another person and then treat another person. So it's not like I'm just consistently treating the same person. Um, but if that's what I have to do, you know, I have a little money. If that's what I have to do um, to not be alone, I'd rather do that. Um, because traveling alone is, is just not, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Um, and I didn't do it because I, I wanted to do it. I do it because um, I had to do it. And I wanted to prove something to myself. I wanted to prove that I was tough enough to, you know, take on a challenge and do something that not a lot of people do. And that's travel um, alone. But I feel like I've already accomplished um, that and proved to myself that I'm I'm tough, I'm resilient, I can travel along. Um, but yeah, I've been to Italy. It was uh, I've been to Spain. I think what's going to make London better is they have a larger black population. Um, I heard that they treat the black Americans a little better than even the you know black native. What do you call them? Uh, 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 British people. Um, and so also they speak English, even though that English may be a little different 
from ours, they still speak English, so at least it won't be like that language barrier, because that, that's another burden that you have to deal with going to these countries, is dealing with people who don't even motherfucking speak English. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm a little nervous, um, very nervous, actually. And, uh, you know, we, we, we'll see how it, how it all goes. Um, we'll see how it all goes. But uh, today is the day for me to take uh, my vacation. And I'm not looking forward to the eight-hour flight. Um, it's actually a late flight, though. This is the first time that I actually had a trip where the flight was this late. You know what I mean? Like, the flight is not going to take off until, like, 10, 25 so I haven't gotten any sleep last night. I want to stay up, but I'm really weird because I could stay up, um, you know, like all night and still, like I can stay up for literally 24 hours and still not be tired. So there's no guarantee that if I stay up, it's like eight something now, if I stay up and then... 10 o'clock the night when I get on the flight, there's no guarantee that I'm going to be tired. But with this motherfucker right here, with the help of melatonin, um, I think it's going to do the job. Or I might take some time or PM. But um, I want to be asleep for most of those those hours on the flight. I don't want to be up. It's going to be nerve wracking. I just really do not like getting on flights. But, you know, um, and somebody said, why are you going to European countries? But just because of the monument, and I feel like it's an accomplishment to be able to say you've been to like the Coliseum and the, you know, the Leaning Tower, which I did in Italy, or my my my, my Serrat Mountain um, Range in Spain, or um, Park Güell, I think it's pronounced, um, in Spain, and you know the the Art Art de Triomphe in Spain, and. Um, you know, in London, you know, Big Ben and the London Eye and, you know, all the landmarks, like, even though the Stonehenge is not in London, the Roman Baths is, is close enough to London. So just to be able to, I, I feel like that's a sense of accomplishment for me because I feel like I haven't really accomplished much of my life other than having money. Um, and so I feel like, you know, I died there tomorrow. I wanted to at least be said that that boy traveled and he'd been somewhere outside of Philadelphia. You know, so that's what it is for me. Um, but I'm not going to drag this video long because I do believe that my battery is dying. It's getting kind of low. Um, I do have a appointment today with my therapist, so hopefully she kind of give me a little more encouragement. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Uh, I'm nervous as a motherfucker, bro. I, I ain't gonna front you. I know a lot of y'all may say, why are you nervous when you already been to, you know, you already been further places than, than, uh, London and, you know, there's nothing to be nervous. You, you, you've done this before. You've been to, you know, Mexico, you've been to Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I, I've been quite a few places, you know what I'm saying, alone. So, uh, you know, I, this is not like a, a, this is not my first rodeo, you know, it's not my first uh, trip alone. I've been here and done this before several times, so, um, you know, I shouldn't be nervous. I should use those experiences actually as confident. Uh, that I can get through this. Um, I just think that the more I do it, I think it it just get, it just becomes harder for me. I think that's all it is. It just gets more difficult for me. Um, and so that's all it is. It just gets harder. But I'm gonna try to get through this. Um, those of you, I want y'all to follow me on Instagram at Marcus Ferguson eighty seven. Y'all can follow me on there. Um, that way y'all can like get to see like everyday updates on everything that, um, I'm doing in London. Um, and y'all don't have to like wait, um, until I post it on here, like, you know, 
days later. So, I'm going to get up off of here. Just wanted to let y'all know that I'm going to London today. Um, I'll arrive there early Saturday morning, and that's pretty much it. Wish me the best of luck. I'm going to try to get through this. Like I always do, I'm a strong motherfucker. I'm a survivor. I'm a perseverer. And um, it'll be a long trip. Like five days is long for me. And I just pray that I get back safely and that it's a, it's a good trip for me. All right, y'all. Later. Jay, love for the time.